They don't help you at all. Oh my god. Oh, he's very low, yeah. <laughs> That's why they dove him. But diving someone with two persons is just crazy. Yeah, unfortunately I hit Shen here. And of course I knew they were here, but I'm going to pop my ultimate and uh, basically try to kill them. But I'm not going to make it, so I'm flashing out and at least was they wasted uh, Shen's ultimate, or used. And I'm just going back to heal. And as you can see, I'm not staying in when I'm uh, low uh, health because I want to. If I, if there's the opportunity, I want to be able to grab the opportunity and kill someone. And if I stay in low health, I can survive. Sure, I can stay back. I can use the cleavers to farm, but. If someone gets low or gets uh, well snowballed or uh, stunned, I cannot run in because someone's going to kill me instantly. And what I want, the reason why I have a tanky character is because I have a lot of life and I don't die easily. So I heal up whenever I can and even though it takes me a few seconds to get back to base, which is 8 seconds for the teleport for the recall and then uh, it takes about I don't know uh, 20 seconds to uh, to get back to to get to the lane again so uh, okay it it gives you a little bit of a disadvantage if you do it too often but the ability to go after someone like in this case here sh I, I can go after Shen now because of the fact that I'm still high health and this was awesome they caught one of them and uh, yeah of course the kills are very easy if you're very tanky and uh, you still do damage because that is the point you want to have a character that still does damage not just have uh, armor but the fact that you have a lot of life and you have some uh, high armor uh, well, some high armor stats on your uh, items. So, like, I have, uh, I now have a spell penetration uh, item with extra life. And I do have the Negatron Cloak because, well, I'm pretty sure that all the damage is magical. Except for the auto attacks, of course. Auto attacks are physical from, I think, every character in the game. But it does mean that... Now with my Negatron Cloak, so my small investment, the reduced damage is about 60%. 50 or 60, I don't know exactly. But a lot. So basically I double my life by just... Uh, of my, my health points. By just investing in one Negatron Cloak. Which is a lot more efficient than uh, buying any other item. So here I'm slowing a Warwick and Warwick ults me but that doesn't do anything. I slow him again and he's going to get a tower shot and that's it. There's no way he can kill me. I mean obviously me being 5 on 1 helps a lot. And that was stupid of him. He shouldn't have run in 1v3. Even when someone is very low they do so much more damage and the one person being low can just get out and then it's still 2v1 uh, so I'm not sure what sh which I'm going next apparently I I'm going some armor but yeah that's really not necessary but with my spell penetration I'm assuming that my Q will do most of the damage which it normally does. Q is excellent for harassing, but it also just does a lot of damage if you have the, the right amount of spell penetration. Because in this case, I have more penetration than they have actual health, and my cleavers do something like 20% of or 15% of the target's health in damage, in magic damage, which means that 
uh, now, because I have more spell penetration than they have magic resist, that it will do extra damage, and it will be do about 25% extra damage, meaning that I now do damage equal to about, I don't know, 20-22% of the target's he maximum health. That's a lot. <laughs> That's one-fifth. And you can see it when I take out Dragon, the, the auto attacks, even with the E uh, activated, uh, don't do as much damage as the Cleavers do. And I get another Dragon. Dragon to me is the most important thing on this map. Uh, plus the two jungle buffs, but I don't, don't normally go for there, for them. But they are very important targets, but Dragon to me is really the most important one. Since, well, Dragon is so much money for your team, plus you get the experience, you get the buff, and if you get it instead of the enemy, it's, it's huge. And that's why I think that all the higher level uh, 3v3s will be based around fighting for dragon, fighting for the three buffs that are available on the map. So red buff, you, you have four buffs. You have the dragon, you have red buff, uh, green buff and black buff. Black gives you extra movement speed. I think the green gives you cooldown reduction and AP. And the dragon gives you an everything. And of course you have red buff which gives you slow and uh, additional damage. So Scion running in here, he should have just waited for me and then we could have finished him off. But now, um, yeah. Now I'm low and he ran out, so... <laughs> yeah, we're still going to go in, at least a little bit, to uh, to see if we can make something happen. But Warwick can see me, so I'm kind of cautious where I want to uh, recall, if I want to recall. And I'm going to, but I first want to uh, get a minion camp. Um, yeah, well, as you can see, we pushed bottom lane, even though it was completely unnecessary. Uh, we pushed top lane, which is, for me, is the, the, the better lane to push, since top lane actually gets you uh, ex exclusive access to the dragon, which is the high price target, and the bottom lane really doesn't do that. Bottom lane just gives you, I don't know, a better shot at ex escaping from red buff if you get ganked, because that's it. <laughs> but top lane does that as well. So the vision of bottom lane is useless compared to that of top lane. If your minions push up to the uh, the second turret, so if you destroy the first one, you have vision of most of the lane. And t so you can see who's going into top jungle. And yeah, well, you have total control then. I'm still uh, trying out, or I'm, I want to try out a strategy I developed for this map, but I need some people to uh, practice it with and it's going to happen at some point and I'll post a video about it. Right now I don't want to uh, give away what the strategy is because then someone else might do it and I think it's really cool so I want to do it myself first. Uh, Cassiopeia spotting me here with her poison thingy and um, yeah we're just trying to harass her a little bit And as you, ca you could see from uh, the amount of health that Warwick lost there, my cleaver does a lot of damage. Because people normally don't stack uh, armor uh, magic resist against Mundo. Here, that's it, it's it's amazing that it does so much damage with me having no AP. Well, it doesn't have AP scaling in the first place, but. 
Nunu is probably uh, stacking AP at this moment, at this point, because his snowball is doing a lot of damage. And we're just going for the third here, so we're ignoring the fact that Warwick is killing us. And so we lose one person, but we do get the turrets, and we are going to get the inhibitor. And at this point, yeah, well, they just surrender. There's nothing they can do. And then they say, report Shen, but pfft. Right, like you hadn't lost. Anyway, that's it. Hope you enjoyed.